welcome to my youtube channel this is ajit kumar and today we will i will show you how we can encrypt our virtual machine disk so this is my virtual machine and if i go to the disk this is os disk available from this virtual machine and the encryption type is sc with pmk okay so let me go to in inside the vm and check whether the disk is encrypted or not so as you can see here the disk are not encrypted okay let me go to the disk management and as you can see here the disk encryption is not showing here so let's move and i will show you how we can encrypt the disk for that you just go to the disk okay go to the addition setting once you go to the address setting here you will get the details like the os disk and the data os and data disk if you have os disk and the data disk available you can choose the second one and if you have only the os disk you can choose the first one either you want to encrypt the os disk only you can choose here or you want to encrypt all the disk available in the dry, uh, virtual machine you can choose the second option so in my case i have only the os disk available so i am going to choose that after that it will pop up to provide the key vault details so since i don't have key vault available i will create from here just click on the create new it will pop out to create a key vault so as you can see here here you need to mention the key vault name so i have mentioned and here you can check uh your uh, pricing tier so in my case i'm choosing the standard and moving to the next and going to the access policy here you have to and uh, choose accordingly so since i am using uh, this keyboard for the disk encryption you can choose this last option uh, whenever you are deploying any vm and in that case if you are using the key vault you can select the first option okay accordingly and after that you just go to that and select all this cryptographic key, key permission the secret permission and the certificate permission i have selected all this so after that if you have uh, means if you are having a existing keyboard and if you want to uh, uh, add your access over there you just click over there and add your account so I have already added that so here we can select all this so in my case I will use my existing network either you can proceed with the public endpoint all network so it will allow all the network so since i have already been it available i am using my uh sorry all seems like the uh, yeah so i am enabling my public endpoint with my vnet the vnet name is sbm hyphen vnet So as you can see my vnet is a enabled so i'm going to add this 
so as you can see here the IV net, virtual network is enabled added here I'm going to the tag um, as of now I'm uh, skipping the tagging value and proceeding for review and create so the validation is passed now I'm going to create this keyboard for the encryption So as you can see here, so as you can see here, the deployment is completed. Okay, but still, um, here. So now the key, my keyboard is created successfully. And now I'm going to create a key inside this keyboard. So I'm going to keep the name similar. Okay. So as of now, I'm proceeding with the default. So the key is created successfully uh, along with the keyboard. So, so here you need to mention the version, which is basically a digital uh, key uh, available. So I'm going to save this. Once you click on the save, it will automatically start deployment, automatically start your disk encryption setting. So as you can see, the updating this encryption setting is going on. So make sure whenever you are performing any disk encryption, you can only only use your downtime. So because sometimes uh, it's uh, the VM will be rebooted. So as you can see here, my VM is rebooted and now so as you can see here, the disk encryption setting is successfully enabled. So I am going to refresh this console, means the refresh this disk. So as you can see here, the encryption status is going to uh, is changed from SSC with PMK earlier it was PMK and now it's added and ADE okay so I'm going to log in the VM and we'll check what is the current status inside the VM
so as you can see here so from this PC as you can see here the lock mark is available okay so since I have only enabled the C drive that's why my only OS disk is uh, encrypted if I used OS and data disk it will encrypt my D drive as well okay so I'm going to the disk management and we'll check So, as you can see here, for the C drive, BitLocker encrypted. So, the status is showing BitLocker encrypted. So, this is all about how we can encrypt your disk using from the portal itself. You can encrypt your disk, your OS disk along with your data disk or you can only enable the OS disk. So hope this video is really helpful to you. Please subscribe my channel and like this video. If you have any query, please comment on in the comment below. Thank you so much.